Hi, this is Matthew Paulson with Analyst Ratings Network. I wanted to take a moment to show you our new stock research tool called RatingsDB. So right now you're looking at the basic um, search page. Um, you can search by just about anything that you'd like. Um, if you want to search by a specific analyst, you can do that. Um, if you know your company's stock ticker, you can type it in there. Um, if you don't know the stock ticker, um, you can just type in the name and we'll figure it out from there. You can search by date. Um, search by action. So if you want to search by upgrades, downgrades, initiations, you could certainly do that. Um, you can search by a specific rating or price target. Um, you can search by a keyword in the research note itself. And you can sort it by just about any way that you want. So I'm going to go to the My Saved Searches page. And I already saved some searches. Um, so recently I searched for what are Goldman Sachs recent upgrades. So I click on that and it'll populate Goldman Sachs um, upgrades and it'll sort by the newest first. So that'll show you a list of those. And let's say, you know, that, that's nice, but I really only want to see stocks, say, on the NASDAQ. So then I would do that. I could perform the search again and it'll show me um, just the NASDAQ stocks when I run that again. And let's say, you know, I guess I really don't care about the NYSE stocks, so I'm just going to save that um, search that way and yeah, from now on, whenever I run that search, it'll have that new filter in as well. Um, so let's go back to the My Saved Searches page. Um, this is a list of the searches I created. Um, say I want to keep track of just downgrades and upgrades. Um, whenever you know a new result shows up, it'll show you the total number of results and the number of new results since you ran the search last. Um, so here's a query for Merrill Lynch buy ratings. I ran it yesterday or a couple days ago, I'm not sure when. Um, click on that. Uh, we've got three new and it'll show me those three newest here. Um, two from yesterday, one from today. And then when I go back to the My Saved Searches page, um, obviously there won't be any new ones then. Um, let's take a look at the details of a couple of specific gradients and I'll show you kind of what those look like. Um, so here's a downgrade from Citigroup of EcoPetrol from neutral to sell. The old price took us 43 and they bumped it up to 51. Um, so we keep track of each analyst rating system. So Citigroup uses a buy neutral sell. So we know that the neutral is Citigroup's second highest rating and now their sell is obviously their lowest rating. Uh, the price target 51 bucks is about 5% below the stock's current price or its closing price yesterday. Got a nice logo. Um, kind of an excerpt from the report, kind of what the analysts are thinking and then mentions of this rating change kind of on some of the stock websites. So you can just kind of click through those and see maybe a little bit more detail about the rating change if you're interested in that. If nothing comes up, you can always do a search and Google will try to find some on Google for you. Um, obviously it showed up there on our site and you can search on Bing as well. Um, company description and just more ratings for that stock and more ratings for the analyst. Then let's take a look at um, this rating from Apple. Canaccord Genuity raised their price target after the WWDC keynote. So it was $775, now $800. It's about 40% um, upside to the current price target of, or the current price of about $570. Um, a buy is Canaccord Genuity's highest rating. That's good. A um, few media mentions, information about Apple, more Apple ratings, and more ratings for Canaccord Genuity. Um, so that's the basic um, functionality of. Ratings DB. There's about 100,000 ratings in it right now. We track about 150 to 250 new ratings every single day. It's updated daily, well, several times a day. So any kind of rating that you're looking for, we probably have the most detail about it of anybody online. So it's a nice tool to check every day if you um, want to find more information out about a specific rating or you just want to keep track of ratings from a specific analyst or for a specific company. Ratings DB can help you do that. And that's it for this preview.